we kind of came up with a concept of this space looking around Cardiff and being involved in the art scene in Cardiff. There's quite a few gallery spaces in the city. We felt the best structure that we could build in this space is kind of fall between the cracks of ever spaces really is to support artists in supporting their practice mainly. So one of our main structures is free week residencies, the shared residencies within the space. So what we do is invite individual artists or groups of artists to come into the space for over three weeks to join in with residency and share the space with a number of artists. And essentially, we offer them a, an opportunity to step back from their own practice, to take the pressure away of finishing work and we're able to look at the, how they make work and how others make work. So in, within that shared environment, uh, I guess, uh, shared skills and a chance just to look at what they're doing. When we have these residencies, what we do is at the end of the, res uh, the free week residency, we offer those artists to have a group show. These are not necessarily finished works, but they're just an example of their practice, but an example of how the mechanics of their works are made, essentially. I think these free spaces within the Capital Centre, because where they're located within commercial shopping areas, people feel a bit more comfortable and they want to explore a bit more because they're a bit, cu bit more curious, I think, where more traditional gallery spaces, I think a lot of people find it difficult to enter them, they feel that they're not for them. So these free spaces look familiar to them and maybe the, the, the stuff that's happening in these spaces aren't familiar, but I think it, there's a, 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 an openness. Tonight's show is, we've called it Catch 2.0 just because it is the second instalment, I guess is the best way of putting it. It is trying to be an exploration of using a much grander, larger space and being given the full free freedom of just do what you want, enjoy it, see if you can do something with it. Um, it was initially quite overwhelming coming in at first because of how large the space is and it's a bit of an artist's playground in that sense. It's just nice, like an originally a nice exploration of celebrating different artists, 12 different artists who are from very different backgrounds, very different artistic positions, but it's just about creating new conversations between artwork that might not previously exist. I'm a painter, printmaker, graphic novelist, um, based in Cardiff, and I'm running an artist-led space called Rug, which is a painting, drawing and printmaking focused gallery. Doing the kind of art that I do, I've got a really strange interest in following other artists' careers and seeing what everyone's up to. Like, I love painting, and the way my brain works is I kind of pick up on similarities between different artists that are perhaps working in a similar way, not superficially, but with a similar approach to their practice. And I try and, um, like, I write down a little list of, of dream shows, and then I just try and get the artists that are in that list and try and show them together. Rogue's open seven days a week, because I paint seven days a week. So I will sit on the floor just painting with the doors wide open. And I think it takes a lot of bravery to just walk into a gallery door. But if you've got someone doing something a bit weird on the floor, it's automatically quite disarming. So you get all sorts in here, man. Like groups of kids that come in, they like the paintings. You get like old people just coming in, just who are interested in painting watercolours. Then you get people who are followers of the Cardiff art scene, practitioners themselves, um, they're a, with a serious interest in painting. They also come in. So you get everyone. It's, um, it's really refreshing to see. So brings together a group of 11 artists and we all have practices that um, are performative or site responsive, somehow have research at the, the base of them. We come together to put on events that maybe invite other people into the space in terms of other practitioners as well as the public, and then also use it as a space to come together and share ideas on what we're up to and support each other. This evening we have what we're calling a painting show, and all of the works look at ideas of colour, of distance, of different kind of painting methods. All of them are quite performative and contemplative and really it's an invitation to come into the space and to imagine and to, to think. For me, it's been a lot about the meeting of 
artists together and working together and the relationships as much as the physical spaces have allowed us to start, but I think it goes beyond the physical space at itself. Out of the three spaces, I think we've been the ones that have sort of sat a bit, a bit differently. Like perhaps Shift has had an identity a bit more as like running residencies and exhibitions and Rug the same and more of a studio. And I think Cell's had like a bit of a different vibe to it. It's in the way that it's been used. It's been a bit more like a studio space. Uh, meeting space, perhaps other people have come in and used it. So I think it's been a little bit more um, changeable in, in how it's been used. I guess each space has its distinctive qualities, but also there are lots of crossovers as well. It's really nice to be somewhere where we can all have openings at this, on the same evening, for example, so we kind of share an audience across the three spaces. When I came in here, I, I was looking for somewhere where I could work and the, the idea of making a gallery and what it was going to be was kind of to complement what the other spaces remit already were. There, there's something for everyone among the three spaces, you know. When the ever tenants moved into the spaces, we felt it was a really good idea that, um, that, that we talked initially about maybe working together as, as one unit, but every group had a, individual ideas of how they wanted to present work, what work they wanted to show. So we made an agreement to actually just help each other as neighbours, as fellow tenants, but also to help each other advertise and just a supportive network, really. Yeah, it's Jochen Vaur. Um, thank you for giving us this space. Um, we, we absolutely love working here. We love meeting different people and uh, hearing about different people's work. There's always, every single time we do a residency, there's always work that sort of excites us and inspires us. And it's been nice to find a different way to talk to artists. Because this is a space that is very much about collaboration, people feel a bit more like they can bring stuff in and they can try things out. But also, you've got this is huge space to fill, so it kind of works in all these different ways. So yes, uh, yeah, Jochen Bauer, access. So yeah, thank you very much.